new iPhone and essentially a price cut on the old iPhone. That's right, that's right. And Abby, I saw you roll your eyes a little bit there. I gotta ask you, are you just not impressed anymore? Well, you know I'm an Apple fan. Yes. I am, hands down. But when, when Moira looked over at me and said, you know what you have right here is the cheaper version of the iPhone now, this new phone that they allegedly are coming out with that's with the right. new case, the 5C, is that's that what right, they're calling right. it? Yeah. Is basically my phone with a new with a new copy. And yeah. it's $99, is that the one? It is, it is yeah. 99 bucks. So yeah, that so was kind that of the big story. does that make me a little story. better maybe because I bought it at full price? I don't know. Well, but you have a white one. So, I mean, it's cool, right? Oh yeah, it's old school. That's so what we call vintage. By the way, Dan Thompson joining us to talk about this. Our expert. So Dan, let's start at the beginning. First of all, there is a new faster, better That's iPhone right, that's out. right. So that's the iPhone 5S. Um, this is what we were all there to see yesterday. So basically, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a dot release so it's not you know the iPhone 6 meaning it's not all new hardware but essentially what they gave us was faster processor better camera um, they upgraded the flash on the camera so now um, it has kind of an amber look to it instead of that blue white glow mm -hmm. so uh, people pictures will turn out better they won't look so washed out anymore um, which is very nice the processor is very fast um, Apple loves to geek out about their processors at these conferences um, frankly though I'm not sure that the user experience will be any different um, because the the way the iOS is designed, so iOS 7 was another announcement yesterday, but the way it was designed is to operate very smoothly as you're panning between the screens. So I'm not really sure that this newest phone will take advantage of this uh, of this processor. So um, will the end user experience be that much difference between the, the 5S and the 5C? I honestly can't say that, you know, that there is going to be a huge difference. Maybe there will be, but, um, you know, if you don't have an iPhone today and you've always wanted one, the 5S is obviously the one to go with. Um, you know, unless, of course, uh, you're just trying to save some money and the 5C is a good choice. Two headlines for me here. Um, you can now get them in gold and silver right. and space gray, right. not to be confused with gray. Right. <laughs> um, you can also, it's got this fingerprint technology. Yeah, yeah. That that to me is another level. That was definitely the coolest announcement yesterday. So uh, Apple surmises that roughly half of smartphone users don't lock their phones because it's just kind of a hassle. Mm -hmm. uh, so what they've done is done a biometrics play, which is in the home button. Basically, you just push your thumb on it, it reads your thumbprint, uh, and then we'll unlock the phone. You can also make purchases on iTunes using your thumbprint, uh, which is very nice. Uh, biometrics is, in my opinion, where computer security will end up eventually. Um, so it's really nice that they're integrating into the phone. Not the first phone that we've ever seen that had a scanner, though. Uh, so it's not really Apple innovating. I will say this, though. Um, they did it much more elegantly than any other phone has, as you would expect Apple would. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's, uh, I mean, it looks just like the other one. So it's not obtrusive or anything like that. But, uh, but it's, a, it's a very cool addition and I, I very much support the idea of using biometrics. To me, the most important thing about a phone other than the whistles and bells is the battery life. Yeah. I mean, frankly, I can't get through a day without right. recharging my phone. Is that going right. to change? And that's kind of the hassle of the smartphone, mm -hmm. right, is that they do so much that they eat at the battery. So um, one of the things that they said yesterday was that, you know, if you're using it heavily, it should last about eight hours. Um, that's, of course, assuming you're emailing, texting, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, the big takeaway, which was interesting, is that the old browser, will uh, the, the battery only lasts about six hours uh, on 3G. Uh, if you're using 4G and the new browser, you can get up to 10 hours. So the, the takeaway there is make sure you're always on 4G, right? But uh, but yeah, battery life is always a conversation. The new iPhone, I mean, the iPhone 5 has good performance as far as battery. <laughs> I can expect only the same thing out of the 5C and the 5S. Not okay. for me. I had to get a replacement, but that's a whole nother. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Thank you, no Dan. Problem. We appreciate it. We are watching Mornings with Fox 43, and when we come back, a string of incidents on area greenways has many questioning.